Hi, my name is Liv, and this is me. And my name is Luke, and this is me. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, basically, I was telling Liv that she needs to do an intro, because I'm her manager. And she was like, you do it for me. I'll see you there. That's how you said it. No, I said, I want to do it for me, please. <laughs> I'm uh, rocking her, her sunglasses today too. Today's video, we are gonna thrift shop. We're gonna like look for some nice clothes. <laughs> and I'm so excited. I think the favorite thing for me is like when you find something thrifted because like almost no one else has it. And also that it's like so exp uh, cheap. <laughs> So cheap. So you're expensive. about to say expensive. There's like some good charity shops and like thrift stores in my area. I'm gonna take Liv on a tour around them today. And hopefully we'll find some gold. Should we like have a challenge where we like try and get like one complete outfit or something? Yeah. Do you think we should... Include shoes? Include Doesn't shoes. have to include shoes, but like a bottom and Like we need to try and create an outfit from yeah. thrift shopping. Yeah, sure. Let's go. This is the first place. What is it called? WNS shop. Do you have something in mind that you want to like find today? Oh, I would love to find a pair of corduroys. Corduroys? Ah, yeah. Like pants? Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. This would be so nice for like the fall and winter too. <laughs> Look. It's just a tight fit. But I had like a tight shirt on it. No, it's so small. I mean, it doesn't go with this, obviously. Oh my god. You're crushing my dreams. Hi, my name's Luke. I'm here for the job interview. <laughs> I have a background in uh, finance and accounting. I've run my own business for the past two years. Oh my god. I want to have like fun pants like this. Hmm? No. I think these are cool. But it's like M so they're going to be too big. So we didn't find anything there. I feel like we could have like looked more. But it was like these bins where you like have to find or like go through everything. I don't know. I didn't find anything so I didn't have like energy to look through them all So now we're like looking at car things or something, I don't know Just walked outside Yeah, not so good at this place I think Wow, this looks really cool It's like an auction Wow, oh, that's so cool How cheap is that? 20p for a chocolate bar They have one for like pens as well Cigarettes Chewing gum, three pennies I found a camera and now Luke wants it Basically it's like a Super 8 camera And I have Super 8 film at home actually Because I bought another Super 8 camera But it didn't work? But it didn't work I've been wanting to buy a Super 8 camera ever since It's so hard to know if they work Yeah So like they say in this room that you like offer a price So I'll probably just offer them like five pounds Thank you Got your camera I got it for three pounds in there. <laughs> That's pretty good though. Yeah. We have stopped somewhere because I think Luke is gonna give me Greg's and I have no idea what this is. I think it's like he said it was a bakery. They do a lot of like sandwiches and like food for lunch. They've become like really famous over the last year or so for doing like really good vegan food. This is like uh, baked beans on toast but it's like in this. Yeah and there's also like vegan sausage and vegan cheese in there too. Oh, wow. Their most famous is like the vegan sausage roll so I hope they have some. Okay we got our goodies. Oh do you want any fruit? This is like a good fruit place. 20p each for a pink lady. We also got pink apples. lady apples and medjool dates. The best dates there is. Yeah, I want to try this first. The vegan sausage roll. They say that like Greg's was like a failing business until they made these in like the last couple of years when they've sold these. It's their like best selling item now and like people go to Greg's just for That's these. That's so cool. And they're good right? Perfect like snack. That's exactly it. When you're feeling a little bit peckish. Okay, I'm gonna try this one too. The one with beans, right? Mm -mm -mm. This is so nice. Okay, we're just gonna eat up and then we're gonna continue our search. Our we're search. empty right now. We haven't bought anything. Oh, we yeah. have all the camera. The camera. Okay. We are in Westbourne now. This is like a good shopping area. It's like a small town where a lot of like older people live and retire. This is like a very good area for cherry shopping. This is probably like one of the best in Dorset. This is uh, Love's collection. It looks dapper. It's made too long. I like how it's like kind of see-through. This I don't know why. Mm. Yeah, this is this is <laughs> Sorry. debatable. Then this. You look cute in this. I just really need to like find a skirt or like something to have like to 
to them because they don't have anything in it. Speak up, my love. You're Sorry. whispering. I know. Update. Let's go a bag of goodies and we're on to the the next. Okay, we're in Bournemouth now. Let's gonna try bubble tea for the first time. Looks so good. Yeah. Okay. What is that? That looks so weird. It's good, it's really good. And then like chew the balls. It has like juice inside. Cool, right? Feels a little bit weird. It feels like it's like plastic balls. Yeah. Luke just decided to like throw all these balls on me. No, so they like, work so like so sticky. My whole body is like but, wet. No, let me tell them. <laughs> Basically, those bubbles in the tea, they work perfectly as paintballs with the straw. And so. he decided to try it on me. <laughs> You're the only person I could try it on. Do you wanna... This, okay, this store isn't like a thrift shop, it's not like a charity shop, but it's like a vintage... I think it's like vintage clothing, so maybe it is like thrifting stuff. Yeah, but, but it's like nicer pieces, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a look. Let's go. No luck. No luck. I love nice clothes. But now we're getting coffee. Free coffee at McDonald's and you're gonna see the advert that I'm in. Yeah, Lucas done like a, a video with... Uh, with McDonald's and like the local council yeah, to like stop littering. Oh, oh wow, that's so fun. I have to show it on video. Pretty cool, eh? Is that you? Oh my god. We're trying to like play cool. <laughs> <laughs> we always come to McDonald's for just coffee and only because we got free coffee. Yeah. Never food. Never food. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Luke is getting hungry again, so we have to go eat somewhere. Uh, I won't buy you food then. If I'm the only one that's apparently hungry. Yeah. I'll just, uh, just get some food for myself then. Yeah. I think we're giving up this uh, we can't do any more thrift charity. shop because we didn't find anything for Luke, but like we found something for me. But now we're like so, so tired and we need food. Hello there guys. Okay, so we're at this vegan place in Bournemouth. These it's are... called Mighty Wieners. These are like mushrooms that are like made to taste like fried chicken. Mm -hmm. They literally taste like fried chicken. Right? Mm -hmm. That's good, right? Mm -hmm. Barbecue burger? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Do you need anything else? Any other sauces or anything? Uh, that's great, thanks. The barbecue burger. <laughs> Looks like this. It has like bacon and too. Well, it's vegan like... bacon. You can't say bacon. Bacon. <laughs> I think that like this uh, restaurant is like super nice for you or those of you who like really like the taste of meat because it really feels like we're eating meat. I guess sometimes that can be nice. We've been like out all day. Now it's like half past six and I have my yoga lesson in like half an hour and then I have Spanish so I don't know what we're just gonna do. I'm gonna edit some photos and uh, enjoy my time on yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I think it's so nice. Like now, me and Luke have been like with each other all the time, like 24/7 for like more than a week, almost. Like 10 days. But I think it has been like nice. Yeah, yeah. But like, I think it's very important to have like time alone, even if you like. Yeah, I just think it's always really nice with time alone for everyone. I yeah, think this is like really, really important. Yeah. If it was like anyone else, if it was like my parents or like even my friends, I would be like so annoyed right now. Like, if you're like you would. Yeah. Like you're the most person that I could spend like this yeah, much time with. Yeah. But like, even so, you still need some time alone. You always need time alone. Yeah. Especially if you like live together too. Yeah go out and do things like separately sometimes if like I went out with my friends maybe you would like stay home or like you even go out with your friends yeah kind of thing yeah. just so we have time apart okay. right gonna pay gonna and go. I'm gonna go home so we just got home and I have my yoga now on zoom if you didn't know I am a yoga teacher <laughs> I did my course at my mother's yoga studio in Arica in Sweden and yeah so I do like yoga on Zoom so if any of you guys are interested you can just DM me and we can see if we can do a little bit yoga together. <laughs> So 
it's the next day and we decided to maybe go to more thrift shops today and we've already been to the supermarket bought like frozen berries and i've made a smoothie bowl again it's been like so long since we had a smoothie bowl too long too long finally i made a smoothie bowl for us both <laughs> like, <laughs> what the hell? This is also like first date things. I didn't even mean to. Well, of course I didn't mean to. <laughs> like, just gonna... So yesterday we failed kind of at the charity shop challenge. Well, yeah. I failed. You got some nice things. Mm -hmm. But I didn't find anything. But the thing is, there was like so many more shops to go to. It was just that it got to like 5.30 in the afternoon. We used the whole day and these shops started to close. So... Today is day two, and we're gonna go around the ones that we missed, and hopefully I'm gonna complete the challenge. I bought that Super 8 camera, and when I got home, I put some batteries in it, and I tried to, like, repair it. I, like, opened it up where the batteries were. There was, like, so much corrosion around, like, the metal elements, so it seems like it's been in, like, salt water, mm. or, like, water damage. So I threw that in the bin but it was worth it for like three pounds, wasn't it? It was only cheap. And then I bought a pendant for my necklace. But yeah. that's all I bought. But now we're just eating breakfast, we're eating a smoothie bowl, and then we're gonna go out and try and find some more goodies. Yes. Complete our outfits. My outfit for today. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go with it. You do your thing. <laughs> our outfits for today. <laughs> I have pants and a top from Shein. I have like weekday. Yeah, these are really nice. Trousers, my favorite of them, and then just like a parkour top. This what? was the pendant that I bought pendant. yesterday. Yeah. It was 50p. And he already know. had this chain, so he just put this on. Yeah, and this chain's really cool. The connection is a pill. You like unscrew it to. Yeah, that's so cool. It's really nice. Yeah. Let's go. We are in our first charity shop. For today. I don't know where this is. Boscombe, often known as like the worst city in the oh. UK. And we're just gonna look around and see if we find something and I guess we'll just like update you if we find something. Game on. <laughs> I feel like most of these shops that we go in, they always have so much more women stuff. I like look for all the men's stuff. Liv's looking for like another 20 minutes and I'm sat in the, the chairs. The men's chairs. I guess women buy always buy more clothes and I guess so uh, they'll chuck away more clothes. Again, she's finished. Now I'm just standing here because they don't have a man chair. Every shop needs a man chair, honestly. I really wanted like a pair of vintage like trousers like this, but Luke is always hating on me for these trousers. I just know that you can find like such a better pair. Yeah, no. You literally just pick like the first pair of tracksuits and you're like, oh, yes! No! Boy. Yeah. <laughs> We're really doing this on camera. <laughs> Turn it off! <laughs> wow, that's so cool. It's pretty nice, right? Wow. My first clothing cop. This is lit. Yeah, it's really nice. And it looks like almost new. Like it's in very yeah. good condition. It's like really good material too. Yeah. Okay, how much? Three pounds. Might have to take out a loan for that. Okay, now we are gonna go to Inspected. It's like a clothing brand that I collaborate with and I work with quite a lot. Yeah, it's and they do actually like street, really nice clothing. They do like streetwear and uh, they're a music label too. We're in the Inspected. Ryan, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> These are the upcoming clothes. These are some new pieces that are in production right now. Yeah, it this is so really nice. cool. Yeah, I can't wait for these. I love this like graphic stuff. Yeah, it looks sick. Yeah. This one's really nice, just like basic white. Yeah, this is That's really sick. nice. Yeah. And I love this, yeah, like this, this font. Yeah, so look at the back. Oh, wow. This is so nice. This is really yeah. nice. That was probably about two months. Yeah. Wow, so that's nice. so nice. Me. Well, I look like a mess. 
let's go as you can see it wasn't really a successful charity shop video but i still think that the vlog is quite nice so i wanted to post it but make sure to thumbs up this video so we can make more thank you for watching kisses for you Thank you.